गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑल इन लेक्चर नंबर फाइव ऑफ मॉड्यूल वन दैट इज जस्टिस इन रिलेशनशिप सो इन टू डेज लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट जस्टिस इन रिलेशनशिप्स सो इन द लास्ट टू क्लासेस वी प्राइमरीली ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द प्रपोजल्स अबाउट फीलिंग्स इन द रिलेशनशिप्स सो वी स्टडीड अबाउट स्टेब्लिश वैल्यूज वी स्टडीड अबाउट expressed values in established values we studied trust respect affection care guidance up to love and correspondingly their expressed values from complementarity to oneness so for human society behavior is an important part that's why we studied in last two lectures established values and expressed values and in this lecture we are going to discuss justice in details so let's start with the lecture so as i told you that justice uh, as i told you in the previous lecture we talked about established values and expressed values in established value we studied trust respect affection to love and during expressed values we studied complementarity to oneness so in last two lectures we devoted for established values and expressed values now let's understand what is justice what does it mean why it is required so as we have studied that human behavior is the manifestation of expressed and established values so if my behavior if our behavior if our expressions are based on established values then it is a human behavior otherwise it is a inhuman if our expressed values are not coming from established values it may be possibility that behavior is is inhuman that's why recognition of relationships is required recognition of established values is required recognition of relationship means i am able to see coexistence interconnectedness interdependence mutuality of one human being with the other it is required in relationship otherwise we cannot fulfill relationship with the other there will be complaint so for mutually fulfilling communication i am able to see this characteristic of existence that there is a interconnectedness there is a coexistence and on the basis of this coexistence and interconnectedness i am able to recognize relationship with others so once we recognize this relationship we can fulfill the expected feelings in relationships we can fulfill those feelings which are naturally acceptable to me and naturally acceptable to others in the relationship so to live in a mutually fulfilling manner this realization of coexistence interconnectedness mutuality is required so if we continue with this in this manner with the feeling of coexistence then only it is a human behavior then only we can ensure mutual fulfillment so let's sum up uh, these points so in previous lecture we have seen that mutual fulfillment of feelings in relationship means to ensure established values to ensure expressed values so we studied expressed uh, uh, established values from trust to love and expressed values from complementariness to oneness with this now we are going to study justice so what does it mean justice from my side what is justice that we are going to understand in this chapter in this session okay so justice from my side means ensuring established values in myself and living with expressed values so then it is very important that i should recognize 
established values which which are in me which are continuously in me once i explore these established values then we can see what will be the expressed values and with the combination of these established and expressed values justice can be ensured from my side okay so to ensure justice in relationships also means to ensure established values and live with expressed values so living life in complementarity in mutuality means we can evaluate others and the others can evaluate us when we live with established and expressed values and can evaluate ourselves it leads to our mutual fulfillment so by living in this manner i and the other is able to evaluate each other so in my own right evaluation if i find that i have been able to fulfill the expected feeling properly it leads to my fulfillment when the other is able to do the right evaluation of the right feeling being expressed by me then it also feels he or she also feels fulfilled so i am fulfilled because i am able to evaluate my established values and able to express with expressed values and the other is fulfilled because he or she is also able to do the right evaluation of my feeling in this manner mutual fulfillment is ensured and this mutual fulfillment is required while interacting with human being in relationships mutual fulfillment mean means a way a interaction where both are fulfilled so how is it possible is it possible only when i am able to see my established values and i am able to express with expressed values and the other is also able to see my established values and his or her established values and expects correspondingly then mutual fulfillment can be ensured so the established values continue to be within while expressed values are seen while expressing the established values in relationship so established values are continuously in me and expressed value we express when required but if we talk about established values these values are continuous in me every moment we have to explore it we have to investigate it we have to recognize it ensuring these established values within and expressed values from my side in relationship is fulfillment of justice from my side so what does it mean justice from my side justice from my side means i am able to recognize established values which are continuous in me and i am also able to live with expressed values from my side so this can be done from my side this can be ensured from my side so once this is ensured from my side this is fulfillment of justice from my side so with this established and expressed value i feel fulfilled within myself so it means i have ensured justice from my side okay so we can say and you must have read this definition of justice in uhv2 and uhv3 so we can say justice means recognition of relationship fulfillment of values and right evaluation which leads to mutual fulfillment this mutual fulfillment is justice so what is required to ensure justice to ensure mutual fulfillment number 1 i am able to recognize relationships i am able to fulfill those values established values and expressed values and i am able to evaluate feelings rightly with this i can achieve this state of mutual happiness so these four components are required to ensure justice and if i ensure these components from my side it means i have ensured justice from my side now when we look at this definition we can see justice is simply being able to see coexistence with others so when we are uh, talking about recognizing the relationship it means i am able to see the coexistence with others 
if i am able to see coexistence with the other then i then only i can recognize the relationship i am able to see the relatedness with the other so on the basis of this coexistence i am also able to see relatedness with the other when i see relatedness with the other i can recognize relationship i can recognize values i can rightly evaluate the values so being able to fulfill the established values and expressed values is human behavior and justice has to do with right evaluation in relationship and achieving the state of mutual fulfillment so friends now you can stop the video for 2 minutes you can take pause for 2 minutes and ask yourself investigate in yourself are you able to recognize relationships are you able to explore are you able to investigate the established values within you do you take care of expressed values when you express with others when you interact with human being this is a good homework for you this can be a good assignment for you so make a list make a list of your relatives and observe your expressed values and pay attention what is the established value behind these expressed values if you try in this manner you will explore you will find you will take care of your established values and once you have enough competent to ensure these components you will reach in the state of mutual fulfillment so you can take 2 minute break you can take uh, a pause for 2 minutes and investigate in yourself do you ensure justice while interacting with human being while interacting with your parents your friends and other members so this question you have to ask this questions you have to investigate in yourself and see what is lacking why are you not able to ensure justice if you are not able to so investigate uh, these question within you and let's move towards uh, next slide so undivided society so undivided society is to ensure mutual fulfillment in relationships and to ensure justice from family to world family order so if i ensure this undivided society from family to world family order if i ensure this justice from family to world family order it means i have i am with the mentality of undivided society so to reach to the state of undivided society the ability to ensure justice the competence to ensure justice in everyone is required so if everyone goes through such education and sanskar where everyone's ability to ensure justice is improved then the society will reach up to the state of undivided society so it is very important to see each human being having the feeling of being related to all and the mindset of undivided society so it is very important to see each human being having the feeling of being related to all and the mindset of an undivided society so at the level of society the realization of an undivided society is a matter of significance it is an important aspect in fact ignoring this justice has divided our society in many ways so the foundation of realizing this undivided society is the mindset of undivided society in every individual so feelings and human thoughts are at the root of ensuring justice as you can see to ensure justice i should be able to ensure recognize relationship recognize values so at the basis of this justice i should be able to recognize feelings i should be able to ensure right feelings within myself i should be able to ensure right thoughts in myself which we also call as resolution and as you have studied in uhb 3 this understanding is also known as knowledge 
So basically knowledge to know the reality, to recognize the relationship is required to ensure this justice in the society. <clears throat> so looking back, we see that knowledge in the self is the basis of right feeling and right thoughts. So being resolved and expressing these feelings and thoughts in complementarity is a big achievement for the entire human race as a just and equitable society. So for this, we have to understand, understand this kind of values which are continuous in me. So in short, human being can ensure justice at the level of family, at the level of society, if he or she has feeling of interconnectedness, coexistence in themselves. So with the realization of this coexistence and interconnectedness, I can recognize relationship, I can recognize the values and I can ensure the justice from family to world family order. It means I am ready with the mentality of undivided society. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see our full expense of living. So in this slide, we are going to discuss our full expense of living. So as I told you that right understanding, knowledge, this you must have gone in UHV2 course. That right understanding, knowledge, knowledge means to know the reality as it is, to know the relationship with every unit. So with this understanding, with this knowledge, I can ensure right feeling, right thought in myself. And this right feeling and right thought is termed as resolution. So with this resolution, with this knowledge, now I am able to ensure mutually fulfilling behavior from family to world family order. So once I am ready to ensure mutually fulfilling behavior from family to world family order, it will lead to undivided society. So for undivided society, I should be living in a mutually fulfilling manner from family to world family order. This is possible when I have right understanding, right feeling, right thought in myself, that is resolution. And this right feeling, right thought is possible when I have right understanding, knowledge of reality in myself. So with this right feeling and right thought, I am able to ensure mutually enriching work and mutually fulfilling participation in the larger order. Because with the knowledge, with the right understanding, I am able to see coexistence with every unit. I am able to see my participation with every unit, with human being and rest of the nature. So with the resolution, now I am able to ensure mutually enriching work with rest of nature. And I am also able to participate in the larger order at the level of society, at the level of nature. I am able to ensure my participation. And so once I ensure this participation from family to world family order, we will achieve universal human order. It means a human who is living with the universality. This is universal human order. So this is our expansion of living. And with this understanding, I can understand my participation from family to world family order. So again, students, you can take pause for two minutes and ask yourself, do you have this feeling of from family to world family order? Have you ever thought your participation from family to world family order? Have you ever thought that you have enough potential to participate from family to world family order? So understand your expense of living and evaluate right now. What is your living now and what is possible with your potential? What is your expansion with your potential? You can evaluate both these two parallelly. So with this full expansion of live, living. Now can we see how to evaluate our behavior? So in oneself and in the other, how we evaluate our behavior? Let's see what is the sequence goes when we talk each other. So in oneself, 
आई कैन सी फीलिंग्स विच आर स्टेब्लिश इन मी दिस आई कैन सी इजली सो विथ लिटिल एक्सप्लोरेशन विथ इन्वेस्टिगेशन आई कैन सी इन माई सेल्फ दैट देर आर स्टेब्लिश वैल्यूज इन मी दैट वी रेट इन लास्ट टू क्लासेस सो वी हैव फीलिंग ऑफ ट्रस्ट वी हैव फीलिंग ऑफ रिस्पेक्ट वी हैव फीलिंग ऑफ अफेक्शन अप टू लव इन माई सेल्फ दीज फीलिंग्स आर स्टेब्लिश कंटिन्यूस इन मी इन ग्रेंड इन मी विथ दिस फीलिंग्स आई कैन ऑल्सो ऑब्जर्व माई थॉट्स सो वाइल कम्युनिकेटिंग टू अदर वॉट आई कैन सी इन माई सेल्फ आई कैन सी माई फीलिंग्स आई कैन सी माई थॉट्स देन आई एक्सप्रेस दीज थॉट्स यूजिंग लैंग्वेज फेसियल एक्सप्रेशन गेस्चर बॉडी पोस्चर एक्सेट्रा सो हियर आई टेक हेल्प ऑफ माई बॉडी टू एक्सप्रेस माई फीलिंग्स टू एक्सप्रेस माई थॉट्स and what the other can see in me other can see my expression my gestures my body postures so once the other observe my facial expression language then he can think in himself or herself about my feeling so with this observation he can guess what may be my feelings so if he recognize these feelings then he have his own thoughts according to the feeling that he has recognized that he has guessed about me then he can express himself or her, herself then from my side i will again read his expression then i will think then i will guess his feelings so in this way we communicate with each other in this way we evaluate our behavior so if you are not aware about feeling and thought you evaluate others behavior on the basis of only language facial expression gestures body postures but if you are aware about the thought then with this expression you think of the behavior of the others and if you are more aware then you go up to the feeling of that person so from expression to thought to feeling and at the level of feeling i can communicate i can evaluate so ultimately we have to evaluate feelings but if i ignore this feeling aspect if i ignore this thought aspect i only evaluate others gestures body postures facial expression etc so established values are the basis of expressed values with expressed values i expressed myself to the other so if the other is aware he will lead he will understand my expressed value and then established values so with this we can evaluate each other's behavior so again take pause for 2 minutes and ask yourself do you evaluate others on the basis of only facial expression gesture body language or do you evaluate others on the basis of thoughts and feeling and when you respond others what you do while responding are you aware about your feelings are you able to evaluate your feelings whether these are established values or not are you aware about your thoughts if you are aware then the evaluation will be right if you are not aware about your feelings your thoughts your expressed values your established values then your evaluation may go wrong and it may lead to mutual unhappiness because you are not able to find out your established values and you will assume something else it will make you unhappy and when you are not able to express properly with established values and express value the other may think wrong for you so in this manner mutual unhappiness may be ensured so take a pause and ask yourself see this process in you when you communicate with others see this process in you when you listen others okay so let's move to process of behavior in one self and process of behavior in the other so acceptance that the other is related to me once i accept that the other is related to me then i correctly recognize the intrinsic value in that relationship 
and ensuring them established values and expressed values then we can see how i can express these feeling accurately it means what kind of language i will use what kind of body posture will be what what kind of behavior i have to show to others or if i recognize these values in myself and right evaluation of our feeling thought and expression it leads to feeling of fulfillment so from uh, my side in one self we can do this and in the other i can listen him i can see him and with his or her body posture i can rightly evaluate his feeling his thoughts then deciding own feeling so once i observe his body language postures then i can rightly evaluate his or her feeling and then i can decide for myself whatever feeling is going on in me this time making me happy or unhappy and i can evaluate those feelings on the basis of established values so if my feelings my thoughts are according to my established values then it makes me happy otherwise it may make me unhappy so this is a process of behavior while interacting with each other so you can do this exercise every time when you interact with others be aware at what level you are recognizing other at what level you are evaluating others at the level of behavior at the level of feeling or at the level of thought or at the level of understanding so you can make a list of uh, this kind of interaction and write down in front of them and evaluate you and others properly so this is a uh, behavior which i have told you earlier so simply in me i can recognize human human relationships i can evaluate which feelings is naturally acceptable to me then i can think how to fulfill these feelings what kind of language i will use what kind of gesture i will use i can think with this evaluation an expression of these feelings and if i evaluate self if i evaluate myself the at the level of feeling and thought it leads to my happiness my happiness because whatever exists at the level of feeling it comes from my natural acceptance so it will make me happy so my thoughts are now resolved because my feeling are coming from natural acceptance so it will make me happy if i talk to about the other the other will observe my behavior will estimate about my feeling and based on the evaluation if it is right feeling if he or she evaluate me in a right manner then it ensure the others happiness happiness in the other self so if both are aware both are attentive both are awakened at the level of feeling and thought then it will ensure my happiness as well as as others happiness and finally it will ensure mutual happiness so this is a process of behavior so whenever you interact with others take pause and evaluate yourself at the level of feeling at the level of thought at the level of expression and similarly when you talking to other or when you listening to other observe his or her behavior then evaluate their thoughts their feeling and again you express yourself on the basis of your natural acceptance then it will ensure mutual happiness among us <coughs> so if we talk about expression while expression we use various facial expression body language gestures so it these all are important while interacting with each other each other so our gestures our language our postures our facial expression plays very important role while communicating with each other because the other is able to only see my expression so we have to take care 
about our expression also when communicating to others so we have to keep awareness at the level of my established values about my feelings at the level of my thoughts and i have also to take care about my body language facial expression because the other is going only to see this so when we express through words when we talk then language is used so expression is a small part we think more we at the level of feeling we evaluate more the body is used the language is used only when we are going to express myself then along with the word our style our tone expression etc plays very important role similarly various facial features particularly eye position you know which is also termed as facial expression is important similarly body postures is very important so body postures in a particular manner for expressing something specific that is folding hand shaking hand etc when we say namaste we fold hand like this so it plays a very important role and it will change culture to culture place to place okay similarly gestures are also significant in communication so with this expression now we can again place each and everything at the level of living so as i told you if i have right understanding then we can have right feeling and right thought which will lead to mutually fulfilling behavior from family to world family order and with this right feeling and right thought mutually enriching work mutually fulfilling participation in the larger order i would be able to participate in the larger order which will ensure universal human order finally now we can see all the component recognition of values their evaluation their fulfillment important of gestures body postures into this picture so if we take care all these things then we are able to ensure justice at least from my side and when i talk when i interact with other i can also sense through his body language posture their thought their feeling and i can evaluate that thought and feeling at the level of my natural acceptance so at least from my side this justice can be ensured okay so this all about from my side for this lecture so students do as i told you make a list be aware at the time of talking at the time of interaction with each other and observe yourself are you ensuring justice are you well evaluating your feelings at the on the basis of knowledge on the basis of reality are you able to see interconnectedness interrelatedness so if we take care all these points definitely you will be able to ensure justice from family to world family order thank you very much let's meet in the next class thank you